Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Out Here in the Wilderness. It's not a yin confidential, though, okay? It's not a yin confidential. Uh, as you can see here, we got some wilderness. It's not too wildernessy. It's a little bit more of the outskirts area. It's, uh, or rather, I guess, closer into the city area, um, the municipality area. So it's kind of, as you can tell, it's kind of, you know, granular. It's still snowy, still wilderness, but it's not as wildernessy as I as, as the other places I've been to. You can still see houses and stuff. So, anyways, so today's topic is something that people have been talking to me about a lot lately, and they're asking me a lot lately, especially the emails. The emails have been full. I, I just can't. I don't have enough time anymore. <laughs> I need help. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this. <laughs> I I bit up more than I could chew. Maybe I shouldn't have put the email in the description. <laughs> uh, anyways, so. One, one topic today that I really want to hit up is a, a continuous question people have been asking, which is how do you, how do you keep positive? How do you keep, you know, from being burned out, from being drained, from being, you know, uh, you know, how do you sustain the fire, right? You know, I say find the inner, find your inner sun, you know, fuel your inner sun. That's what I call it. It's, it's, it's the battery in you, right? That battery inside, that, that thing you have that keeps you going, that keeps you doing things, making things, whatever it is, your hobbies, your family, your life, whatever it is, what's the motivator, right? What is that motivator? That's your son. And so I visualize it as something that you refill. Every now and again, you need to refill it because being burned out is normal. It's very normal. It's very normal to be burned out. It's very normal to be, uh, to feel like um, you're, uh, you're not, uh, that you're not, uh, you don't have enough energy anymore. You feel like you you need to take a break. Taking a break is normal, okay? It's part of life. And one of the things that people, uh, you know, they kind of see it as a negative. We live in a we live in an era now where people feel a negative connotation for normal human things. Okay, I'm gonna let you know right now. It's normal to feel like you're burned out. The secret is the secret is to learn about yourself, right? Figure out yourself. What are the things that kind of pull you down? Because you're going either up or you're going down in energy. What pulls you down, right? Is it things that you don't want to do? You know, are there tasks you want to, you would like to outsource? I think that's something you should consider doing. Uh, you know, again, maybe you don't have the money. Maybe you can find somebody who's willing to work with you. Okay, maybe you can't, maybe you don't. That's fine too. Maybe you, an alternative could be you simplify whatever task you have that you want to kind of not do. Keep it kind of simple. So let's say thumbnails, right? Thumbnails for YouTube or whatever. I know a YouTuber who outsourced her thumbnails. She outsourced it and then she came back and said, I hate them. And I'm like, of course, because obviously they're never going to be as good as you want them to be because of the of the uh, of the whole concept of it's never going to be as good unless you do it right the you know if you want something done right do it yourself that's that's the caveat you trade something for something else your energy your time has been traded back to you for something that's not perfect imperfection and so are you okay with that are you not okay with that that's a question you have to answer for yourself i can't answer that one for you so apply that to any task i don't care what it is cleaning uh you know maintenance on your car um you know, uh, this one's going to be dangerous, but some people do this. They outsource their kids. They outsource raising their kids. They have a nanny. I don't recommend that because I, I think children are a treasure, but that's something that people do. And so, you know, again, I don't recommend it, but that's just an example. I'm just giving you an example of what people do. And so you can apply this logic to anything. You name it. So there's that. That's one. Two, you should consume content that uplifts you. Consume something that gives you that energy back, okay? You want to refuel. You're like a car. You're refueling yourself with positive energy, high energy, something that you can take with you, you know, take that energy and use it constructively for something else, whatever you're doing in life. For, so, for example, you know, I watch a lot of Matt Colville because I like to, you know, for, for, for DM, for dungeon mastering, for, uh, for writing. He's good for that. Even though, you know, he's a storyteller. So he finds unique ways to tell stories, different ways to kind of engage people, engage readers, engage players. I watch that and it helps me. It helps me a lot. 
And so I opened my mind about what I could do, what I, what kind of stories I could tell, everything like that, techniques I can use. Brandon Sanderson, another writer who's very uplifting. The stuff that he talks about, you know, his failures before he even made it in life. Big, big, big white pill for me. You know, great, great content. Keeps me rejuvenated. I keep pushing. You know, talking about, oh, I didn't make it until 13 books. <laughs> you know, that's big for me. So that's two that I, I watch. Um, just an example. And another one for if you like to, if you like, uh, you know, uh, in my opinion, if you like any content that's not of the mainstream, that's kind of pushes the narrative. The stuff that the mainstream pushes, if you're like anti that, you have uh, Eric July, who's a uh, young group of 59, he talks about, you know, making it in life, just pushing through, even though you're failing, doesn't matter, learn from it, you know, build an audience, you know, connect with them. Don't just take, you know, don't just take no for an answer from, from reality, from, you know, <laughs> from, uh, from, uh, you know, whatever threshold you're trying to make, whatever, you know, uh, you know, numbers you're trying to make, don't let that stop you just keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing keep pushing you know um you know make yourself you know get up out of the gutter in your mind right and just go to the next target the next day the next threshold the next you know whatever video you're doing so there's that example another person who's really uplifting in my opinion is uh, ray jaholic he especially when he talks about geek stuff he's talking about the new era where is upon us you know, we're not, uh, you know, the mainstream, you know, is kind of waning. People are tired of that garbage crap. They're tired of bad content that's unhealthy for, you know, your kids and everything. Um, so there's that too. And that's, those are just random examples I can think off the top of my head. You know, if you can find your own. Just go ahead, use that search engine, you know, use YouTube. I mean, now ChatGPT probably could give you, I don't know if they actually ChatGPT can <laughs> for certain content. But, you know, you probably could use chat, chat, GPT, try that. Try, you know, using Google, uh, trying to figure out, like, what content creators are out there you can consume who produce content that you, you like and you enjoy and gives you rejuvenation. Um, make a playlist. You know, I do that. I make a playlist specific for specific topics, you know, that really helps me. Uh, another place you can go to is go to Reddit. I hate Reddit, but... <laughs> Reddit is useful for certain things. You type it on, if you type in Google, you know, whatever the question is, what kind of content creator, blah, 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 blah. You hit Reddit, boom, it'll pop up in, on, on Google. So you're basically using Google to search Reddit. It's crazy. You know, Google's broken in my opinion because of that. They, they really are broken. Um, what else is there? I think that's about it. I mean, there's so much, there's so many aspects and avenues you can go to. Uh, you can watch uh, video essays on the stuff that you want to talk uh, that you're, you know, you're into that helps you. Uh, and there's always going to be content creators who do the general positive stuff. There's like a there's an ocean of them. I mean, I hate to say this, but Gary V actually has some pretty positive videos, even though I don't like him. <laughs> I don't like him, but he does have some positive videos. So I have to give him credit for that. Um, you can check any of those things out. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'll be there. Um, and uh, have a great day, guys. Peace.